Here we are, we're in the Ineco chamber. Today I brought my drawing tools to a different place than usual. I wanted to try drawing in the world's quietest room to find out how long I could last inside. It is said that in rooms like this, one cannot stay long without starting to go mad because our ear begins to hear sounds even from inside our body to which it is not accustomed and that it has never heard before. For months if not years I tried to get in touch with Anikoit Chambers to shoot a video inside. Unfortunately due to quarantine my requests remained unheard for a long time. If I'm here, here, I have two different entities to thank. The first is Pietro Morello, who shot a video in this very room a few months ago, making me aware of Kaimi, the second incredible reality I have to thank. Kaimi is a historic Italian company specialized in the manufacture of furniture for interiors and acoustic treatment. See these sound absorbing panels on the ceiling of our studio while they produced and designed them. And I've always had them here and, and didn't know it. I didn't know it. In their headquarters, extremely advanced laboratories have been built, used to test the acoustics and sound absorption of their product. Are you ready? So today we are here in their open lab, which boasts of equipment capable of visually representing the propagation of sound waves and whose crowning glory is an anechoic chamber. Specifically, this is a semi-anechoic chamber because to be completely echo-free, a room like this should have these cones even on the floor. Above 100 hertz, any frequency in this room is cut off. It doesn't make a sound as it should. Ah, ah. Say just one word. It should be something with many vowels like stone, stone. Every wall except the floor of this room is covered with 1301 wedges of 18 different shapes. There is not a single empty space. There is no gap between these shapes. Any type of sound, the voice, a clap of hands or anything else reaches these wedges, sneaks in between and then vanishes. What do you say? Don't you have anything to tell me? But right next to it, it is what is called the reverberation room. And I don't think I need to explain why. Now let's close this door that weighs 450 kilograms. I'm not kidding. This instead is the noisiest room in the world. Indeed, I'm sorry for you. It will seem like you're hearing me as if I were speaking from a cathedral. But no, it's just a few square meters more than the other. For the sake of your ears, I'll try to limit the frequencies of this room satisfying stone above me from the ceiling hang these sensors these microphones which are obviously used for more scientific tests and empirical studies than what we are doing today here inside I'll quickly show you the difference between the two rooms anechoic reverberant The funny thing is that the sound doesn't come from here. It's everywhere. This is why in the end you manage to stay close to it. But you feel it enveloping you. Anechoic. Great. <laughs> Great. Reverberant. I'm scared. But as much as it's extremely fun to be here, we will focus on the other room with me. In this room, there's Timmy. It's a binaural microphone that perfectly simulates human perception of sound. Indeed, behind this type of bionics, there are microphones. Well, he'll stay here assisting us. So I have to put him back today. It will be really interesting to see what the real sound of the drawing instruments we use every day is like. I brought some charcoal, messy things, and I would like to try to spend some time in here drawing. I know I will still make some noise, so the feeling won't be that of staying in complete silence, but I'm very curious to see what happens. Before I start, I'm setting a timer that starts right now.
cracking is important. A bit of stretching. I just found out I have tinnitus. If you are very careful, you can feel the eyelid beat. It's a sound. It's incredible. They say that after a while you even hear the noise of blood in the veins. Is that true? Let's wait a bit and see. I can officially say it's the most relaxing experience of my life. Yep. An hour and a half. Soon they'll kick us out. Let's hope not, because I'd stay here forever. I vote to make an anechoic chamber in the studio. Almost two hours have passed, so I guess for these last moments I'd change the atmosphere a bit. Let's continue with this vaporwave effect. This thing is so scary. Did you fart? I wanted to try the sensation. <laughs> Two hours and ten minutes. Maybe I've drawn enough. Also because with these lights I can hardly draw anymore. Now I'd like to use the last few minutes we have to stay in total silence. And so to fully experience the anechoic chamber, Kama and I lay on the ground trying to remain in complete silence. By now it was clear that the anechoic chamber had only positive effects on us. Even the guys from Kaimi told us that the experience inside is extremely subjective. Some can relax completely and others cannot stand more than a few minutes of complete silence. We could have stayed even longer. Maybe after two and a half hours it's time to end it, especially since by now the only sounds are stomachs rumbling. 
Then when I stayed silent, I could feel the eyelids, the neck making, Nick. the heart. But I feel on the left side a kind of... This sensation of bells in the left ear. Very cool. A sensation to try at least once in a lifetime, I'd say. Also because then I start to talk again and the voice sounds strange. Just think now when we go out. Oh my. I've been wanting to try drawing in a room like this and finally I did it. The drawing side was definitely... Oh god, but as much as the drawing side was definitely important, the goal has finally been achieved. Staying in an anechoic chamber. Yes. High five. We can leave. And at the end, I thank Kaimi again for allowing us to have this beautiful experience in their laboratories. If you're curious and want more information, you can find their details here below in the description. Know that if you want to see a beautiful Azimar without my voice, without anything else, just the sounds of pencils, paper, and erasers, then you can find the full video here. You can use it to study, relax, do what you want. In the meantime, thank you. I send you a greeting, a hug, and a loving cheek pinch. Bye.